Stay, stay. Good boy, stay, stay. So my brother's like, you know what, just make it, it's your birthday, you gotta make it over here. And I'm still waiting to pick up my first ever acting check. You know, starving artists ain't no joke. I'm just telling you, for any future artists out there, you, you know, like, you know, hunger is the best spice. We're celebrating, everything's going amazing, and you know, somehow during the night, I find myself in a situation, in an altercation, and I ended up being stabbed three times behind my back. Still being in shock, I'm trying to, like, shrug this off like it's no big deal, until I get to the hospital, and I'm laying there, and it's three-something in the morning, it's a Saturday, and they're doing surgery on my back, 20-something surgical stitches and surgical staples later. And one of the nurses, uh, I'll never forget this, I'm laying there holding the bedside and she's like, he won't stop bleeding. So they had to reopen me and suture it back up and then close me back up. So while this is all happening, it's like 2014, I'm 27. 2014 was the time I'm supposed to be in Rwanda, but instead I'm in an emergency room watching Hotel Rwanda. I don't know why Hotel Rwanda was playing at that time. And I'm sitting in this hospital bed and an hour right up, like an hour after surgery. And I remember watching this and I'm high on morphine watching this movie and tripping out that I was expecting to be in Africa, but I'm not. I'm in a hospital, mortally wounded. And I'm watching this film about what happened two decades previously and what would have happened if I ended up being there when it happened. And while I'm watching this, this thought popped into my head was, you know, like forgiveness, because while watching this movie with Don Cheadle and, you know, this depiction that's just so heinous, I was imagining how do you make sure something like this never happens again? And it's forgiveness. Like, and while I'm in the hospital bed, I'm sitting there being like, do I forgive this motherfucker? While I'm going through all these intense, intense, intense emotions, trying to rationalize, hey, am I just, uh, dealing with this trauma in a way or B, am I learning a fucking life lesson that I should never forget ever in my life and you know and that's when I kind of quickly realized that outside of being in a building that's titled school you're always in school and the universe is always going to test you with some shit so at that moment I feel like I passed because I learned what my lesson was which was forgiveness and I'll never forget the painting I painted right after that was it was this uh, woman holding this baby and this river running behind her, and I'll never forget that that's when I kind of felt that I was learn I was in the school of life. I was, I was doing what I needed to do as a student and uh, hoping just to make it to the next grade.